another beautiful wonderful glorious wet morning here in the western cape south africa welcome to the potter's gate online broadcast my name is isaiah phillips i came to allow the coordinator of the potter's gate online broadcast wherever you are this morning I want to welcome you to our platform <clears throat> if the lord will be directing your step to join us in prayer this morning it will be a great delight to steer the ship as we move to us heaven's prophetic counsels for our day God is speaking to us in such a profound way and we are very grateful and glad to be part of a company of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. Following the voice of God <clears throat> and the directions of the Spirit for this season. Please pardon me. Uh, well, today we are going to be praying. I've had this uh, a sense, this urgency of of prayer since yesterday night in fact i thought i was going to come you know uh, so we can pray but uh th this morning uh the lord gave us the opportunity to you know to gather so <clears throat> wherever you are if you're joining me this morning once again like i said it's a great delight and i mean it a great delight if it is one two three four five pe people that are able to join us or maybe an hundred or even a thousand hallelujah it will be my desire to have a thousand you know uh more than that people joining us together in prayer just to push forth hallelujah the intentions of god into manifestation in our day <clears throat> excuse me you will understand that there is nothing that happens amen without prayer amen in fact i i saw something that i wrote you know some times back um uh, let me see if i can just track it now i'm just i'm breaking my protocol now i saw something that i was just looking at was it this morning or yesterday and it, you know it's so profound you know uh yes i think i saw the yes yeah yeah let's quickly do this we're led by the spirit right we're guided by the spirit we're led by the spirit now I, I i saw this word every spiritual successful journey has been born and maintained from the place of unsatisfied hunger for the spirit of the living god now i, I thought that is very very profound you know this this is a word that um the lord gave to us <clears throat> sometimes back when we did uh, uh, the, uh you know uh, uh the teaching on igniting the fire and we hope that we're gonna uh, look at that again in, in in the month of august month of august hopefully by god's grace we're gonna be fasting again taking another 21 days you know as the spirit of god will grant us grace but that is my desire i've been i've been feeling the steering towards that so we're going to be doing that hopefully in the month of august but this is a powerful you know word that you know we we, we want to look into every spiritual successful journey has been born and maintained from the place amen of amen an unsatisfied unsatiable hunger for the spirit of the living god and this is a uh, something that defines amen our you know our mantra you know on this platform this is something that reveals that speaks into who we are what we stand for amen as a tribe as a company amen in the potter's gate we are a, a group of people in pursuit amen in, in hot in, in hot pursuit of god we want to amen enter into the fullness amen of god's prophetic counsels and intentions for our life and for our generation so this morning we are going to be praying if you're joining me we're going to be praying and we want to ask the lord once again to grant us amen grace hallelujah and and and, and capacity as we amen take our position once again let's look at the scripture amen in habakkuk one of one of the uh, scriptures the spirit of god has been staring of late in my spirit in the place of prayer and intercession all right uh, 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 habakkuk says the prophet habakkuk said i will stand at my watch and station myself amen and station myself on the ramp on the ramp hallelujah yes so that i will what i will see and of course he said i will keep my watch to see amen what amen god will say to me hallelujah <clears throat> i thought that is <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> thank you jesus I've had, <clears throat> I've had some time to pray this morning so i guess that's the reason my voice is like this but it doesn't stop me from praying <clears throat> excuse me so we, we 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 just want to hallelujah align with the scripture 
I will, I will, I will stand at my watch. The, the point is, where is our watch? Where is that place that God has located us? That God has positioned you watching me. All right. What, where is that watch? Where is that location? Where is that mountain? Where is that, you know, you know, a watch tower? That, you know, place in the spirit that God, hallelujah, has located you. If the enemy can shift you from that point, of course, you know that it can flow you. It can defeat you. So we, we want to, and of course, this, this, is, this, this scripture was made, amen, as a result of a complaint that Habakkuk had. Because if you read, you know, verse 1, uh, 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 you, you will see him complaining about so many things happening in the land, okay? In fact, if you go back to, you know, verse 1 of that scripture, maybe I should quickly do that. <clears throat> because it gives us a context. I always like to, you know, to speak and to teach out of context. If, if you look at uh, verse, uh, chapter 1, excuse me, chapter 1 of Habakkuk, it says, The oracle of the prophet Habakkuk and what he saw, all right? Then, he, of course, he began to complain. Verse 2 says, Oh Lord, how long shall I cry for help? And you will not listen. <laughs> I, you know, he says, he, he says, Oh, I cry to you. Violence. And you will not save. Why do you make me see, you know, wrongdoing? And look at trouble. Destructions and violence before me. Strives and contentions all over. Verse 4 says, so the law has been, you know, so the, it says, so the, the law became, they became slack, became weak and, and, and justice, amen, never prevailed. This was Abba complaining. <clears throat> and the reason why he was complaining is because he has been what? He's been shifted from that position, that high tower. That location, amen, God has called him to occupy in the spirit. Because there is a point and a place where we are able to see things the way they are designed. <clears throat> there is a point, there is a place, amen, where we are able to understand what is going on. Amen. In a manner that we are not confused, we are not fidgeting, amen. We are not captured by anxiety. When we, look, when we, when we shift away from our location, that spiritual location, that height in the spirit, that point that God wants us to be, amen, that place that God wants us to interact, to look at life and to deal with issues from. And I'm telling you, you will be full of complaint. You will see, amen, evil all around and all you're going to be seeing, amen, is war. You will never be able to see, amen, what God is doing or what God, amen, is about to do. So, of course, then in chapter 2, <clears throat> he said, I will now go back, amen, to the to you know to you know to my to my position, amen, of elevation. I will go to the to my to my watchtower. And there I will locate myself, hallelujah, at the ramp to see, amen, what he will say to me. I will I will then take my stand on the on the watch post. I will station myself. <clears throat> hallelujah. This is very important. So I'm calling us this morning. If you're joining us in prayer. Let's take our stand. Let's, let's locate our position again in the spirit. Let the spirit of God once again grant us grace to see things the way they are and not to look at things from the way, amen, the enemy wants us to see them. Let's stop complaining. Let's start praying. Let's stop complaining. Let's start to what? Let's start to pray. Let's start to seek the face of God. Let's start to seek the mind of God. Let's start to understand, amen, the intentions of God. Yes, this is a call to prayer. We want to see, hallelujah, the will of God, the purposes of God, the intentions of God be made manifest in our days. So, Father, we want to thank you once again this morning. We join our hearts, oh God, with, with many faceless people out there, oh God, in the world. Yes, Father, who are also journeying towards this mountain where Abacook relocated himself. Father, I have this morning once again found my place and locate myself on this mountain, oh God. Yes, Father, I position myself on the watch post. I stationed myself this morning on the rampart. I declare the name of Jesus that only that which you are showing me. The Bible says that early in the morning, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up to the top of the mountain to interact. You never start your day without talking to God and without him talking back to you. Your day begins, amen, on your knees. Your day begins, hallelujah, yes, hearing, knowing, yes, the instructions of God, the directions of God for the day. So, Father, we have come this morning. We've come on behalf of our family. 
We've come on behalf of our friends. We've come on behalf of our loved ones. We've come on behalf of, yes, the ecclesia, the church. We've come on behalf of the nations. We've come on behalf of South Africa and Southern Africa. We are, we're coming on behalf of Namibia, Botswana. We're coming on behalf of Mozambique this morning. We're coming on behalf of Lusoto. We're coming on behalf of oh God, Ghana, Togo. Yeah, oh God, we're coming on behalf of, yes, Father, Africa. We're coming on behalf of this continent. We're coming, we're coming on behalf, oh God, yes, of the mountains that you're establishing, that you've established. We're coming on behalf of United States of America. We're coming on behalf of Europe. Oh God, we know that if we refuse, oh God, to do what we need to do, the enemy will continue to thrive and, and evil will continue to prevail. But we take our post this morning. We take our stand as a company of prophetic people, as a company of watchmen. Father, we take our post as a company of men awakened, as a company of them that you have sundered with the authority, yes, of, of your of your government. Lord, we take we take our place this morning and we declare in the name of Jesus that only your will will find inroad only your will will be done only your counsels will be established lord i take my place this morning i present my life unto you as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable for it is my reasonable service i proclaim this morning once again before principalities and power that i conform not to the ways of this world but rather i am transformed by the renewing of my mind i declare this morning i've come with a renewed mind to engage the minds of babylon to engage the minds of egypt because indeed is a war of mind is a war of philosophy is a war of thought pattern is a war of thinking is a war of ideology is a war of perception so father this morning I have come as I undress myself, oh God, from the mentality of yesterday, as I undress myself, Lord, from the cloak, yes, of Saul, as I undress myself from the armories of Saul, I put on the Lord Jesus this morning. Yes, Father. You say, put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand. Shatabayando Robo. Abacus says, I will take my stand. Nobody stands in this day except they have learned to stand in the place, yes, of divine engagement. Nobody will be able to stand in this season except they have come, yes, to have a standing before the Lord. That is what is called righteousness. We are warriors of righteousness. We war from the position of our standing before the Father, before the throne. Father, we thank you for your goodness and grace this morning. Everyone joining us, wherever they are connecting from, all the pastors, leaders, apostles, prophets who connect with us, wherever they are connecting from. Father, we align this morning and we begin to declare that we raise a holy injunction over, yes, their territory. We proclaim and declare that you will grant them a voice to stand, oh God, yes, against the principality that have raised their head, oh God, against your activity over their realm. Father, we take our stand, even as you have been speaking to me, that in this new day, you are restoring, yes, the ministry of the gatekeepers. You are restoring men and women who have capacity for territorial spirit. Yes, who can engage the works and the forces of hell. Father, this morning we take our stand as a company of people, as your tribe in the earth, oh God, as your, as your nation in the earth. We declare once again that Christ may your kingdom come as we pray, as we offer sacrifice. Yes, this morning, as we bring our life unto you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. For indeed, this is our reasonable service. As we engage our spirit man, oh God, yes, in the renewness of this day, in the renewness of this hour, as we as we push forth our mind, yes, to be infused into the mind of Christ. Lord, we declare in the name of Jesus that we have clarity of, of, of what to do. We have clarity in regards, oh God, your instructions and directions for our life. Father, we declare that we refuse to be shifted. We refuse to be moved from our location from our position as Abacus said I will take my stand at the watch post you've called us to take our stand this is the day of the restoration yes of watchmen of God men of men Almighty God who are ready yes to be located as as Nehemiah yes rebuild yes the walls 
that have been shattered as the company of Nehemiah begins to, yes, take their rightful place in the reconstruction, in the rebuilding of spirits, hallelujah, in the rebuilding of shattered spirit, in the rebuilding of shattered lives, in the rebuilding of shattered dreams. Father, we declare in the name of Jesus that this is the day, this is the hour. Let there be an acceleration of your prophetic intention as we pray in intercession, bringing forth, oh God, a holy seed once again that will lift up the hand of Moses on this holy hill, proclaiming and declaring that this is the day of your spirit, oh God, that the war against the Amalekites will be won, that the war against the Philistines will be won, that the war against the Perisites, the Jebusites will be won, Lord, that we are not afraid, because indeed you have given us your presence. Uh, you say, go with my presence. My presence will be with you. This morning, we thank you for the order of your name, O oh God, that leads us. Uh, you are the angels that have gone ahead of us. This morning, we can declare, O oh God, that your spirit is advancing, your kingdom is advancing, that there is, O oh God, a movement, there's a manifestation of your intentions and counsel over the realms of the earth this morning. Yes, Father, we declare, we proclaim that the knowledge of your glory is covering the earth, even as the water covers the sea. Thank you once again this morning that as we pray, we engage, oh God, every false order, every high thing, oh God. We engage every loftiness, every high look, oh God. We cast down, yes, strong goals, uh, yes, strong position of thinking, wrong position of thinking. We cast them down, wrong perception, wrong belief system, uh, religious mindset. Uh, we bring them down. We declare in the name of Yeshua this morning that there is a holy seed rising, yes, with the fragrance and the incense of, of the glory of God over the firmament. Father, we thank you. Spirit of the Lord, it's a day of prayer. They say we will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. There is nothing as important as praying. Remember that the secret of prayer is not the fact that you're praying. It's the fact that you have, amen, yes, the audacity to come before the Father and to hear his voice. When you hear his voice, you receive instruction, direction. You receive guidance, hallelujah. You are able to see into the future. That is the secret of prayer. And so, Father, this morning we take our place. We come to hear you. We have come not to just slap you with some with some with some with, 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 with some requests that we've written down. No, no, we've passed that stage. All things are ours. The kingdom are ours. Ask of me and I will give you, yes, the kingdom for your inheritance. Father, we declare this morning, the gold and the silver belongs to you. Therefore, they are ours because we are joined here with Christ. Yes, Father, because we live in Christ, because we move in Christ, because we have our being in Christ. We have all things. Yes, life has been given unto us. You came to give us life. You've come to give us eternal life. Within life, oh God, we have provision, diverse provision. So, Father, we thank you that based on our inheritance and our connection with Christ, uh, we declare that we lack nothing. But, Lord, we are seeking this morning, oh God, to possess, oh God, yes, the nations. Uh, we are seeking to possess realms. Uh, we are seeking, oh God, this morning, Father, to bring the nations before you. This is your inheritance. We pray for the redemptions of land, of nations. We take our stand and we declare in the name of Jesus. Let every spirit of prayerlessness, you watching me, that you have you've lost the sense of prayer. You've lost the sense, yes, of the passion to pray. I pray that through this prayer, you will be awakened, that your spirit will be energized once again. Oh, yes, that you will no longer, yes, uh, forget that which you have been called and assigned to do, that your, your, your dull acts once again, as you engage, as you listen, as you watch me in this, in this position of prayer, that your dull acts right now will be sharpened. Yes, I proclaim in the name of Jesus that right now God is sharpening Yes, swords uh, in the name of Jesus. God, hallelujah, is sharpening iron, sharpen iron in the name of Jesus. Come on. I declare in the name of Jesus that there is a sharpening, that there is a quickening, uh, that there is a motivation within your spirit right now. I declare, hear the sound of awakening. Hear the sound of awakening. I blow the trumpet into your ears, into your mind, uh, into your thought. I declare in the name of Jesus, be awakening in the authority, in the spirit, in the wisdom, in the knowledge of your mandate to pray. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. 
If you've been fainting right now, receive strength. Receive grace. Receive direction that lead you back to the altar of God. Let this altar be filled with water. Oh, come on, be drowned in this altar. Come, come in the name of Jesus. Come, move beyond need, need, need deep uh, uh, prayer. Move beyond, yes, to waste deep prayer. Move beyond waste deep prayer. Come to the shadow order. Come to the shoulder order in the name of Jesus until you are submerged in the name of Jesus in this order of prayer. Spirit of the Lord, Spirit of the Lord, we steer men and women all across the land, all across the continent in the place of prayer. We declare that they come, they engage in the name of Jesus. Men always ought to pray. Those who pray are leaders. Those who pray lead. Those who pray lead. Because in the place of prayer, they sharpen your prophetic understanding. They sharpen your prophetic sight. They sharpen your mindset, your understanding. You are able to see afar. You are able to project. Father, we honor you this morning that you've called us to interact with your spirit. And we, we, we embrace, we accept this ogre, this offer, this invitation. And we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that this morning, oh Father, we pray that that will be makatayando robo, a connection man they river the brano there will be a birthing man they cut to there will be almighty god a steering in the name of jesus as we are stead wisdom comes alive knowledge comes alive the spirit of counsel comes alive almighty we thank you labro custom brano in this cold yes wet morning in the western cape we proclaim in the name of jesus oh god that we steer the heat of your spirit all across the firmament all across the realm and the sphere we declare this morning Zipion Tazapande Kiande Randa Bukayada De Lemprokoshtayanda Balaboshinda. Yes, not by might, not by power. We advance in light. We advance in your ways. We advance in your will. We advance in your counsel. We advance in your purpose. We advance in your mandate. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. Father, give us, oh God, yes, a laser focused prayer lifestyle. Give us a laser focused prayer lifestyle. Help us, oh God, to, to, to advance, to travel light in the place of intercession. Spirit of God, we pray. We ask this morning, have your way. Take your place. Let your name one again be allowed in the earth huh? as we pray we topple oh god the altar oh god of buying and selling in the name of jesus as we pray we topple the altar of buying and selling in the name of jesus as we pray we bring down dig we bring down the high places as we pray we cast down asian spirit huh? yes located mandaraboshiando within regions within within lives homes family in the name of jesus we pull down every lies of the enemy. We proclaim and we declare this day that there is an establishment of the intentions of the Father over the land, over the nations, over our region, over this place that you have located me. I declare this morning that we raise a voice, we raise a cry in the name of Jesus. Arise, O Lord, let your kingdom once again be manifest. Let your name, O God, be exalted. Let your glory, let your power yes be, be felt oh god over yes man that are all the systems of god that have positioned themselves that have stationed themselves against your counsel father we declare this morning yes sir we topple them oh god we dislodge them we dislodge those hope tree we dislodge oh god those principality we dislodge oh god those altars those high places oh god yes built in the name of jesus we dislodge the the the, the, the vainness of the imaginations of wickedness. Uh, Father, we proclaim this morning that your will and plans and purposes uh, are being fulfilled, are being established uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we proclaim and we declare, let the authority of your name uh, be established. Uh, let the authority of your kingdom be established. Uh, let the authority of your dominion be established. Uh, let the authority, yes, Father, of your, of your will once again be established. Uh, we decree it. Uh, we declare it uh, as a company of priests, oh God, as a company of 
priest, oh God. You said you have made us uh, priests and kings in the earth. Uh, Lord, we locate this position and we begin to establish, oh God. Yes, Father, your intentions and counsel. Lord, as we steer hearts in the place of prayer, we begin to establish uh, over the realm of Johannesburg, uh, over the realm of Western Cape. Uh, we establish, oh God, yes, Eastern Cape. Uh, we establish uh, your, your divine dominion, your, your authority and the constitution yes father of your of your of your justice uh, we establish it oh god in the name of jesus uh, arise oh god uh, and let your enemy be scattered in the name of jesus uh, we frustrate and we dislodge uh, every ungodliness uh, every wrong pattern of thinking every wrong belief system that yes have mingled themselves uh, with religious idea false order of the giftings of the spirit we dislodge them uh, first prophetic voice uh, first apostolic voice uh, we dislodge in the name of Jesus uh, we bring down uh, oh God first doctrines uh, first teachings oh God yes in the name of Jesus uh, first shepherding uh, we bring them down this day we declare let the voice oh God of the authentic vessels uh, that you have called your minister arise in this glorious day we declare let them be established oh God that your intentions may be fulfilled over this realm that your intentions may be established uh, over this realm that your councils may be established over this domain in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare every order that is not of you, every system, government that is not established to advance your kingdom, we topple them. Yes, your word says the birth of this son, the birth of this child is for the rising and the fall of men in the land. We declare men who have come to represent system are falling. Yes, Lord, men who have come to represent system uh, are falling over the political sphere of this land uh, in the name of Jesus over the economic yes atmosphere over the financial atmosphere of this realm of this nation we frustrate them uh, we proclaim and we declare godliness oh God uh, yes we infuse uh, into the lives of our leaders uh, godliness uh, in the name of Jesus the fear of God uh, yes father we establish them today upon the rock oh father that in this day of the shakings of the nation in this day of of of, of breaking uh, al you know alignments and, and alliances uh, and, and realigning themselves father we declare that south africa yes lord we locate a place and position and do that which almighty god you've ordained her to do lord uh, in the name of jesus uh, father we we notice uh, what syrian Ramaphosa has been doing with few other leaders uh, going to ukraine and to russia and try to mediate father we we see that as a laudable thing uh, and we pray oh God that you will grant them grace, knowledge, wisdom and understanding to continue to stand uh, and stand for truth uh, not just almighty God that which suits them uh, and that which aligns with their own in interest no let the interest of this nation be the interest oh God of justice uh, let the interest of our government be the interest oh God of the advancement oh God of righteousness and justice equity, deliverance, restoration peace uh, transformation in the name of Jesus we declare this is the day of Africa we are rising Lord we are no longer onlookers uh, and we are no longer yes at the back seat uh, we're taking the front row because it's our day we've been proclaiming it we've been saying it we've been declaring it uh, Father we thank you we pray that you continue to give this leader so God grace and impetus oh God to do what needs to be done because indeed Africa is the next order where your spirit and your intentions yes Lord Lord, we go forth into the nations uh, in leading the nation. So, Father, we thank you that you will steer heart, uh, you will steer mind, uh, grant them, oh God, yes, wisdom, uh, grant them knowledge and understanding, not the wisdom of this world that has come to north, uh, but the wisdom that comes from above. Uh, grant our leaders godly counselors, uh, grant our leaders godly counselors uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we pray for them, oh God, we pray for the leaders of South Africa as we pray for the leader oh God yes of Kenya in the name of Jesus uh, we pray almighty God for our leaders all across oh God the Sadek region we proclaim is a brand new day we break the hold of dependency we break the hold of poverty we break the hold of evil we break the hold oh God of weak leadership uh, we break the hold oh God yes of slavery and tyrannical spirit uh, we break the hold uh, yes uh, of the mindset oh God of a party we break the hold. We 
declare it's a brand new day and we refuse, oh God, to hide behind excuses. We rise up, oh God, as a Davidic generation. We rise up, oh God, as a Deborah generation. We rise up, oh God, as an Esther. We rise up as a Nehemiah. Restore it, oh God, the broken walls and the burnt gates. This is the day of Ezra coming to teach and bring, oh God, equalization, transformation, deliverance, truth to the people, Spirit of God. It's a brand new day. We proclaim it. We declare it, oh God. Let your name, oh God, be established. Let your kingdom once again, yes, be felt in the land. Justice, peace, equity. Justice, peace, equity. Justice, righteousness, equity. A new day we proclaim. We sound the alarm of the spirit. We ignite the fire of awakening. We sound the trumpet of awakening. Blow the trumpet in Zion, your word says, sound the alarm on my holy hill. This is what we are doing this morning. We are calling for the remnant generation who are, who are called to pray, who understand the power, who understand the mystery, the key of prayer. That when we pray, we literally shift things. That when we pray, we literally, when we pray in accordance to the will of God, we literally move mountains. Jesus said, if you will have faith like a monster seed, you can say. That saying has to do with the spirit of prayer. Because prayer is to speak the mind of God. Prayer is to speak, hallelujah, the counsels of God. The power to bind and loose is established in the place of your divine synchronization. Alignment with the will of God. You cannot bind what heaven has loose, and you can't lose what heaven has kept bound. We have to get information. We have to get understanding. That's why getting the mind of Christ is important to us in the place of prayer, friends. If you're joining me this morning, we're praying as the Spirit of the Lord leads us, particularly regarding nations, territories. We're praying. The Lord spoke to me a few days ago. He said, I'm restoring gatekeepers. I'm restoring territorial apostolic spirits again. I'm restoring, yes, fathers back to the gates. Elders, yes, back to the gates. But there cannot be a restoration of fathers and apostolic, you know, territorial spirit. If Nehemiah does not, amen, fix the broken walls because gates amen are located within walls uh, you see the strength of a gate is determined is dependent on the strength of the wall walls are built by priests and families out of that order of priests and family we choose gatekeepers father we hear your voice in this new day we're tracking your prophetic mandate and agenda. And we proclaim, Almighty God, that even as your spirit continues to steer our hearts, that we will continue, O oh God, to align ourselves in faith. We will not look at the weather, but we will continue to look at your prophetic season. Friends, we are in a prophetic season. And we must be able to read the times of this this season we've got to understand what the Lord demands and requires of us we know that this season requires that we are prepared they're preparing us for something yes not because an antichrist is coming no we're not afraid of the antichrist but we are preparing amen so that the people will not be plunged into famine we're preparing so that the people will not be plunged into confusion so that amen the nations will not find themselves yes in a state no God, hallelujah, has released the seed of redemption. Jesus died on the cross. And that accounts for something. That which Jesus did on the cross, amen, require us now to go and represent and continue to advance, amen. Yes, the fruit of that work of redemption across the land. 
He said to them, go into the world, make disciples of nations. To make disciples of nations is to change people's philosophy. That's what it means. To change the way people think, to change the way they see things. Look at Europe today. Youth, children are plunged into all kinds of confusion, misplaced identity, frustrated lives. People are suicidal, depressions all over the place. It's not just about the economy of, of, of finance. It's about the economy of men. It's about the economy. It's about the capital. We are losing capital. We are losing the next generation. We have to take our stand. We have to pray. If you're listening to me, this is a clear on call. This is urgent. You've got to understand that your prayer will go a long way. Hallelujah. To shift things over the realm of Canada. To shift things over the realm of Australia. To shift things over the realm of the United States of America. To shift things, hallelujah, over Mexico. To shift things over Cuba. There are nations that politicians, you know, has put at the back burner. And in the mindset of the people, when we look at those nations, we see them as, you know, you know, as the black sheep. No. We're talking about people here. People. Cuba is one of them. Iran is one of them. By the way, do you know one of the greatest, you know, spiritual awakening taking place on the planet today is taking place in Iran. But you don't hear that on the, on the mainstream, you know, media. Don't let, amen, media and the politicians, amen, yes, capture your mind and, and, and drag you in a direction that the prophetic voice of God is not leading. It's a day where the scale must begin to fall. It's a day where we undress ourselves, amen, from the weight of the armors, amen, armories, yes, of, of, of Saul. They say, go to the stream. We've got to travel light, friends, in this new day. I pray that the Spirit of God will begin to align you to see and to understand, amen, what is required of you like the sons of Issachar so that you don't just be running with the prophetic word but rather that prophetic word is translated into a prophetic tool God is raising craftsmen wise master builder wisdom is building this house wisdom is building this house May this house of South Africa be built. May this house earlier of the United States be built. Don't look at what is going on, amen. In the in the you know in the sack of you know political games. You've got to track what the Spirit of God is doing behind the scene. We are of the prophetic generation. We are not following what CNN or BBC, amen, or ABC say. We are following what the Spirit of God, hallelujah, is saying. The Spirit of God is the most current, hallelujah. News that we've got to we've got to track. It's not what in news or, or, or you know or you know ABC or what they call them here in South Africa. No, no, we've got to track the spirit. What is God saying? What is the spirit of God saying regarding your region? Do you know? If you claim you're a leader, you should have at least some sense of knowledge about Amen the prophetic agenda. Of God, amen. Yes, about to invade the territory. God is speaking about territories in the days we're living. God must give us capacity to build our layer. Territorial leaders, territorial, you know, you know, gatekeepers, you know, apostles by, by design are supposed to be territorial in their view, in their understanding. Hallelujah. We've got to have a sense of wisdom. We've got to have a sense of knowledge. We have to have a sense of understanding. We have to begin to pray. When we pray in agreement with Christ, amen, we have power with God. We can shift things. We can move things. Hallelujah. In fact, what we are doing right now is that we are shifting things. We are moving things. That's what happens when you intercede in, al in alignment, in agreement with, amen, the mind of God. God uses you to shift things. God says, I want to enter into Canada, but I need somebody, hallelujah, in Canada, yes, on ground. I need foot soldiers on ground who can listen and obey. This is what we mean when we talk about warriors of righteousness. Not war in the way we used to understand in the charismatic day. Those days are over. Now we have to war with wisdom and strategy. We are, we are of the order of a Davidic generation. We war through wisdom. How, what is that wisdom? We hear from God. Should I pursue? Hallelujah. Should I pursue? God says pursue. Overtake and recover. We are recovering territories. We are recovering nations. 
We are recovering mindsets. We are recovering homes, family, broken, shattered, marriages, amen, that have collapsed. We are restoring them. We are bringing earlier the children back. Is the day of Elijah. What is that day? Is a day where the hearts of the fathers are turned back to the sons and the hearts of the sons are turned back to the fathers. These are the days of the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. We have to wear this mindset. We have to take our position. I know in time past we have we have we have allowed the spirit of prayerlessness and weakness amen to defeat us but i proclaim strength upon you if you're watching me right now i proclaim strength upon you i say take your place uh, go back to your watchtower habakkuk says i will return to my watchtower i will wait on him to see what he will say to me so that i will know how to respond to this complaint don't just be complaining many things are happening that we have no sense of what is going on we're complaining we're 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 coming into conclusion I, I was sharing something on that line yesterday you know in nigeria we've got this man called bola tilumbu you know who has basically taken over the presidency either by crook or by winning well he's the president and guess what the lord allowed it the the people that you know the, you know the man that most christians want in nigeria uh peter obi ne, did not win did not you know make it you know I'm, I'm, christians are still fighting no 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 listen we've got to understand god's prophetic agenda sometimes most time god's prophetic agenda does not align with your theology do you understand that it does not align with your theology that does not mean that things are not working behind the scene or all things work together for the good of them who love the Lord. Our problem is we don't love the Lord. We want God to change our issue. We want God to fix our problem. We don't want to go through, amen, whatever God wants us to go through so that, amen, his, his advanced prophetic mandate can be established. It's the same thing that is happening in America. I won't be surprised if Donald Trump in America loses, amen, the coming election. Everything may sound as if he's going to win it right now. But guess what? God has used Donald Trump, amen, to do whatever he needs to do at the time he wants him to do it. And I do not think that Donald Trump, in fact, what I see Donald Trump doing right now, you know, I don't speak about these things except the Spirit of the Lord dropped it in my spirit. What I see Donald Trump doing right now, all right, is galvanizing Christians, all right, to cite an agenda that is not kingdom based, that is not Christ based. When Christians in America start looking onto a man, onto one man, no matter how good that man is, God himself will make that man fail because that man becomes an idol. Donald Trump is becoming the idol of Christians in America and that is why Donald Trump is going to fail. Our hope and our trust must be in him alone. Our hope and our trust must be in God, in Christ alone. In him we stand. We have to understand the season. Everybody have their own path and role. As Donald Trump has his own role and path, he must play it and stay there. When you cross carpet, amen, you begin to fight God. It's the same thing happening in Nigeria. A lot of pastors today are against the will of God. They are against the counsels of God. And it's because they have, you know, they believe that they, you know, when they pray, things going to happen. But you've got to look at the spiritual, you know, uh, environment. You've got to look at the spiritual state. You've got to look at things beyond just what you see on ground, what the people call politics. You've got to understand the depth of the mess within Nigeria. You've got to understand the depth of corruption that has eaten deep into the system that we call church. I was talking to a brother, you know, not too long ago. I said, I thought after, you know, the things that have happened in Nigeria with all the killings and all the, you know, uh, uh, te, you know, uh, uh, what they call it now, now. You know, where you have this Islamic fundamentalist killing people and people were praying here and there. I said, I thought by now that Nigerian Christians have learned their lesson to fix their hope and their eyes on God. Now they are looking for a savior in what? <laughs> in Peter Obi and God, God disappoint them again. And many of them are disappointed. You know, when I speak like this, it's like, what's he talking about? I'm telling you something that we need to begin to adjust. The Bible says, amen, foolish are they who put their trust in the arm of flesh. It's an expression of our carnality. 
right now we see a lot of you know carnality being expressed across the world particularly in America, in Nigeria, of course here in South Africa, Kana Christians are making noise, blowing steam all around, you know, saying things that they, they're not supposed to be saying. Why? Because they do not understand the reality of what it means <coughs> to be spiritual. And it's of this reason God is speaking to us about the makings of the Spirit. It's because of this God is speaking to us earlier about the concept of warriors of righteousness. Our war is not might and power. We war from a position of rest. We war from a position of, of understanding. We war from a position, amen, yes, of insight and foresight. We war from a position, amen, yes, of, of divine instruction like the sons of Issachar. We war, earlier, knowing what Israel ought to do. It's not, it's not, it's not numbers. God is going to be shocking the world, particularly the world of the Christian church. God is taking back, hallelujah, yes, his seat in the midst of the people. He's taking back his position. We build large. People have become demigods. Go and pay homage to people that God have, have rejected. And you think you're going to rule the nation. It's not going to happen. Hear the voice of God. We are asking the kingdom of God to come. And that is will be manifest in our day. That is what we are seeking for, friends. Oh, yeah. Track the heart of God. Track the mind of God in this new day. I will stand at my watch. Friends, there is a watch. There is a location they've given to you. There's a territory they have given to you to watch over. What are you doing? You're overwhelmed by your little needs. Overwhelmed by those things that you're asking for that has not been met. Learn from Abacock. Go back. Stop complaining. Go and relocate yourself in the place they allocated you. I say relocate yourself in the place they allocated you. From that point, you will see things. Your horizon, hallelujah, will be lifted. You will see things. Ah, you will understand things the way they are. <laughs> I'm speaking from experience. If you are not seeing things from the vantage dimension of the spirit, I'm telling you, you will be complaining about everything. In fact, you will be complaining about the air you're breathing. You'll be complaining about the food. You'll be, not only will you be complaining about your marriage, you'll be complaining about everything around you will bother you. Why? Because you have shifted from the place of sight, of calibrated sight. And you'll be joining others too to be complaining and to be praying soulish prayer. Prayers that will abort God's prophetic intention. <clears throat> I am breaking away from all this relationship. I'm breaking away totally. I thought I did that, you know, <laughs> in 2000. As you move and align, when people are no longer tracking with God, you disengage yourself. They say, Abraham, I've, I've called alone. <laughs> I, I used to say, what about Sarah? God said, Abraham, I have called alone. When it comes to the things of the spirit, friends, it is individual, individual life. When those individuals earlier come to the place of agreement, ah, then they become a force to be reckoned with. But if you have 100 people together, but are not moving in the direction of the spirit, what are you doing there? Break away from there. You better walk the road alone. With God, they say we are majority. There are no minorities in God. Hallelujah. What a word. There are no minorities in God. There are no minority class in God. There are no marginalized people in God. Politicians, amen, may try to marginalize certain race, certain color. But guess what? When we begin to pray, when those marginalized, those few people, when we infuse them with the spirit of God, the spirit of prayer, 
when we equip them, we, we arm them, hallelujah, with the revelation of their awakened identity in God, they will rule. Joseph was a, was a minor, was <laughs> the only one. He ruled Egypt. Stop giving excuse. Where I am, we are ruling this nation. We are shifting things. We are locating and reallocating and allocating resources where they're supposed to be. They say, how do you do that? <laughs> With that. Spiritual things cannot be explained to carnal minds. Malala Shiada. Oh, Gaba Hachi. Embregazababa. Oh, what a day, Father. We rejoice to see this day. We celebrate your comings. Can you feel his coming? Can you feel his presence? This is how God comes to us. When he comes, amen, as a former and the latter, it means we have to accelerate things in the earth. There's a voice note I shared with few of us while I was praying two days ago, I think, just as I was as I, 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 about to finish praying, in the midst of that heavy rain, God began to speak to me. How prepared are you for this season? And I began to record the thing God was saying to me. Of course, I shared it to some of our followers and disciples and friends thereabout. But it, it, it's, so time, it's so timely. God is speaking to us about issues of the day. And of course, issues of the days to come. Bible says, let your heart align so that the day will not cramp on you like a thief in the night. So that the day you will not be caught in the web of the season like a thief in the night. May we be ready. May we be a generation of men and women ready like Jotham who prepared his way before the Lord. May we, oh God, be ready. May we be able to hear the sound, yes, of the of the of the comings of the full soldier. May we, oh God, yes, be on the watchtower. May we, oh God, relocate ourselves. Lord, we have come down to the valley. No wonder we are complaining. But Jesus, this day, we, we follow you to the place of the hill. We follow you to the mountain. But we ask you once again to cleanse our heart. Give us a circumcised heart. We can come to the heel of the Lord. Remove from us selfishness, pride, self-righteousness, arrogant spirit. Remove them, O oh God. Grant us this day the cloak of humility. Let's wear it, O oh God. Help us to have the mind of Christ. So we will not think loft, loftily, O oh God, but we will, we will think like you, O oh God. Yes, he does not count himself equal as God, but he humbled himself. This is the day that requires humility. As we see men rise, as we see the beast that, that, that men are built, as we see this thing rising, yeah, rising, becoming a towering mountain, as we see the tower of Babel rising, oh Father, may we humble ourselves under the wings of the Almighty God. May we come under your shadow. He who dwell in the secret place of the Most High huh, shall abide under, not above. It is the spirit of Lucifer that will say, I will rise above the mountains of God, above the stars of God. They say, we will cast you down. You will eat dust. We take our place, O oh Father, under your wings, under your leadership, under your wisdom, under your guidance. You've given, your, you've given us your spirit to lead us, to guide us, to teach us, to instruct us this day. We declare, oh Father, we humble ourselves. Today, Almighty God, yes, Father, we surrender ourselves to you. Ah, yesterday is gone. It's a new day. New battles. New challenges. A new trials. New temptation. So we surrender. Yesterday, you've helped us. It's a new day. So in this new day, in this new season, in this new epoch, whatever today represents, I will unveil. Father, we submit to your wisdom. We submit, O oh God, to your leadership. We submit to your authority. We ask you, O oh God, 
to lead us in the spirit of your light. Your life is what gives us light. So we draw closer to your life. This is life eternal that they may know you. We get to have life in the place of your relate of, of relationship in the place of commitment in the place of our yes uh, intimacy this is life eternal that they may know you how do you get to know god when you are not seeking colonial when you're not seeking intimacy when you are not seeking hallelujah yes to be away with him when i walk through my house i remind myself you are here, Lord. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. When I walk through my office, I say to him, you are here. I'm not alone. I cannot be alone. You are here. You're speaking to me. You directed me. You're teaching me. I'm not alone. You are here. It might feel lonely, but I'm not alone. I know you are here. I can hear your footstep. I can hear your footstep. I can hear your footstep, daddy. I hear you. As you walk in the garden of the first man, you're walking in my garden. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. I may feel cold, but I'm not alone. I may feel sometimes rejected, but I'm not alone. You are here. And friends, he's there with you. You're not alone. You've got to know that he's there. No matter what you feel, no matter what your emotion, no matter what your feeling tells you, he said, Lord, I am with you till the end of the age. Even you, even if you find yourself in prison tomorrow or your, your feet is hung somewhere in the hospital, no matter what happened to you in that accident, you are never alone. He's there. Let it be a let it be a, a key that leads you on. You're not alone. Halalabushamba. It's when we feel alone that our minds start playing pranks with us. And the enemy sneaks into our garden and start whispering. Then we start considering the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. <laughs> Have you considered this fruit? He says. But when you know he's there. You can say like Jesus said. Get thee behind me Satan. There's a realm that I belong. That is beyond what I can see. That is beyond what I can feel. That is beyond what I can hear. That is beyond what I can taste. Oh, come on. There is a realm that I belong. That my decision is not based on how I feel. I've got to bring myself. I've got to daily bring myself under the regulation. Under the government. Hallelujah. Of the cross of Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, if you love me, take up your cross and follow me. The cross is good to help us to understand and to remember. Hallelujah. Who we are following. Hallelujah. Shatala Bayamba. Come on. I invite you this morning to take your stand at your watch. Station yourself. Don't let the devil, yes, remove you. Don't let the enemy shift you from that location again. Because it's from there you get to hear God. It's from there you pick the signal of the Spirit. It's from there you receive the direction of Yahweh. It's from there they tell you the matching order for the day. It's from there they will tell you how to invest. It's from there they will tell you, hallelujah, where to locate that man, that woman. It's from there they will tell you, hallelujah, how to subvert the lie of the enemy over your children. Come on, take your place on the watch. They dislocated Adam from his location in the beginning. The, the enemy dislocated him. He wangled his way into the presence of the wife. Did God say, 
Come on. Zeprado Koyanda Rabda Boshanda. Manda Rabda Boshi Brada Vayada. We pray the kingdom prayer. Come, Jesus. Lead us, have your way. Teach us. Handa Rabda Baba Boshinda Rabba. Manda Rabda Baba Siprana Kayada. Come on, as we, as we finish this morning, let's look at the scripture once again. I love the scripture. You, you know I love the scripture. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord, Mandarabo, is flawless, like silver, refined, hallelujah, in a furnace, like gold, purified seven times while we're looking at the scripture so that you know that God's word in the place of prayer never fails. We will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Father, we thank you this morning. We bless you, O God, for your glorious intention. Thank you, Father, Lord, that as you continue to shake the nations, as you continue to shake the firmament, as you continue to shake the mind of man, as you continue to shake the philosophy that the world has built, yes, the economic system upon, as you continue to shake, yes, the ideology that defines democracy and politics, O God, Father, we declare today, we are receiving a kingdom from you that cannot be shaken. And this is, O God, our joy. This is our consolation that Christ you are the kingdom that we are receiving that all of you this morning we come into it and therefore we find safety we find security we bring the nation into this order we sound this alarm upon the realms of Europe, of America, of Asia of the Pacific Islands in the name of Jesus, of the Caribbean oh God, yes we proclaim this all across, yes, Father, yes, uh, 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 all, all, all across Russia and all the Baltic regions. We proclaim this truth, O oh God. Let it penetrate and invade homes, families, O oh God. That there's a kingdom that they belong. A kingdom that is not built by human hand. A kingdom that is not built by human intelligence. Because indeed you are casting down every high thing that exalts itself above your will. So Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We bless your name. Oh, hallelujah. Once more, signifying the removal of the things that can be shaken. Hallelujah. Yes, this is things created by men. Things fashioned by human hands. Things that are shakable. God is shaking them. Hallelujah. Stones cut without hands are coming. Yes, hitting the idols of men. This is the day of God's kingdom. The kingdom of God is rising. The kingdom of God that is planted like a yeast. Hallelujah. Yes, in the midst of the flower is rising. The kingdom of God that is planted as a seed is growing. Hallelujah. Come on, glorify his name, friends, this morning. Bless his name. Let's honor him for the things that the spirit of God, hallelujah, has once again done in our lives, in our homes, uh, that is doing through our community, through our realms. That community God has placed you. Don't, don't shift yourself. Don't move yourself. Except the move you but right now i want you amen to lift up a standard and continue to pray and dislodge every principality the works of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places i want you to dislodge them raise your voice once again proclaim and declare the kingdom of god has come over the kingdom of drugs over the kingdom of slavery over the kingdom of perversion over the kingdom of wickedness over the kingdom of lies and deceit come on raise your voice and proclaim claim the kingdom of God, invade the school, invade the institution come on, invade the power status come on, invade the local government, uh, hallelujah, this is the day of Yahweh, his glory is upon the waters, bless him, bless him bless him bless him come on friends, bless his name, you are healing your body, you are healing your mind you are healing your soul. Your emotions are restored. Your body is restored. Your spirit is restored. Fervency upon you. Joy upon you. Peace upon you. 
yes provisions of all kinds yes when your way pleases the law when you live for God when you seek his will when you seek his will God hallelujah will make sure that he provides for you he's providing for you hallelujah if he can provide for the sparrow if he can provide for the lilies if he can provide for the birds if hallelujah he can beautify the flower you see today and tomorrow is no more how much more how much more you are far better than this you are far more important than this and so i declare upon you this day may the favor of god yes begin to flow into your space may the goodness of god and the mercy of god yes continue to flow into yes your life we pray this prayer because all that we have and all that we receive is through his grace and mercy so i pray for you this morning that the will of god yes be established in your life you will not be confused you will know what to do regarding that situation in the name of jesus god will give you wisdom regarding your son that is becoming wayward that is becoming mean you know difficult and rebellious god will give you wisdom to know how to handle him in the name of jesus your daughter will not go out of hand god will grant you grace it will not be by might and power it will be because yes of the presence of god that you carry and because you speak the wisdom of god in the time that god will allow you they will listen in the name of jesus your home will be restored your marriage will be restored in the name of jesus i declare i say your home will be restored your marriage will be restored your ministry will be restored yahweh will continue hallelujah to lift you up as you seek his face he said i've not called you to seek me in vain yes come on spiritual things are investment when you continue to pray and seek him god will direct leadership counsels provision yes instruction into your way as men as humans we will always have need but as we seek, hallelujah, to understand his heart, his mind, his will, he meets our needs. God meets my need. He provides for you. I declare that you are provided for. In the name of Jesus, manna will be provided for you. Provisions for you. Provisions for you in the name of Jesus. Manna, provisions for you. Wherever you are from Zimbabwe to South Africa to America, wherever you are yes, to the different parts of Africa provisions, provisions we proclaim it, let the spirit of provision be your portion in the name of Jesus, provision, whatever that provision is, I declare they will flow into your space like a yes, like a wind in the name of Jesus, let the Lord open your eyes to begin to see, let God open your ears to hear, yes receive direction, receive instruction for the next year Yes, God's provision for your life in the name of Jesus. Provision, protection over your life, over your household, over your property in the name of Jesus. In this time of, of flooding that we're seeing in the Western Cape, I say yes, protection for you, for your loved ones in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now for what you're doing. Yes, releasing the spirit of God. Yes, of protection over the entire Western Cape. We have seen flood like never before, water like never before before but father we thank you for your hand of, of protection we thank you lord for your hand of guidance we thank you father for what your spirit is doing thank you lord that those who are called into this emergency uh, 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 re reaction uh, uh, ministry we pray for them we pray you grant them grace no drowning in the name of jesus Thank you, Spirit of God. You protect those children, Father, particularly in those impoverished areas. Like my sister was talking about Kailisha yesterday. We thank you for protection in Kailisha in the name of Jesus. All those areas, Father, where people are vulnerable. Oh, God, provision, protection in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Provision, protection for Haiti. All our brothers and sisters. I mean, the government in Haiti is like there's no government. We thank you, Lord. Yes, restoration over that realm, over that region. Those who are who are living fat over the disruption, over the destruction, over the, the dysfunctionality of Haiti. Father, we pray right now. You put an end to them. 
We declare your mercy, your hand of goodness and, and, and grace over Haiti in the name of Jesus, over the Caribbeans, over that region in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We break the hold of poverty over Papua New Guinea. Thank you, Father, for awakening a voice of people. Yes, over that region, oh God. They're rising up, oh God, and they're decreeing and declaring that this is the day of the Lord's emergence, of the Lord's glory, of the Lord's power. We thank you for what you're doing in Asia. Thank you, Father, for what you're doing all across. People are waking up in China, rising in the authority of Yahweh, coming to know God who rules and reigns beyond the powers of communism. Father, people are rising in the authority of your kingdom. Truth is liberating the people all the way, Father, to North Korea. Thank you. Thank you for what you're doing. We bless your name for it's a glorious day. Hallelujah. It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. It's a glorious day. It's the day of the Lord's glory. The Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is upon the waters. The waters represent the people. <laughs> the Spirit of the Lord is upon the waters. The Bible says, And the Spirit of the Lord was overing upon the, the face of the deep. And God said, Let there be light. Oh, Father, right now, as your Spirit overs over the land, over the nation, we declare, Let there be light. Wherever there's darkness, we declare, Disappear, dissipate. In the name of Jesus, light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon your realm. Wherever you represent, wherever you represent all across the land i say the glory of the lord is risen upon your realm we dislodge principality over your territory we dislodge wicked spirit in high places demonic satanic position we uproot them yes we dislodge them in the name of jesus because we stand in the authority in the government of god to execute the judgment that is written we declare this day the works of darkness is destroyed for this purpose, the Son of Man was manifested that he may destroy the works of the enemy. Father, we thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Wind of change. Wind of change, wind of change, wind of change over your realm, wind of change over your position, over your location. Come on, wind of change is blowing in the name of Jesus. Suddenly there shall be no more. Handa Rabdovosiana. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your word will give direction. Your word will give direction. Your word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our path. Your word will give direction. Yes, direction out of out of boredom, direction out of poverty, direction, yes, out of slavery. Yes, out of the lies of the enemy. There's a word that is coming to my spirit. Addiction. Addiction. Direction out of the out of addiction in the name of Jesus. We break, we break every spirit of addiction. Yes, destructive addiction. Yes, addiction to drugs, addiction to wrong mindset, addiction to wrong feelings, addiction to dumping, addiction to chemicals within the body. Chemicals, yes, taking in addiction to belief system, addiction to traditions of man, addiction. Mark Katoyando. We break the hold of addiction over realms, over territories. Over realms, over territories. In the name of Jesus, we break the hold of addiction. We declare godly habits be formed. Godly habits that will build people, that will equip them, that will empower them. Godly habit. It takes an habit for me to do what I'm doing. And I have to build it. I hope you know that. I have to build this habit, amen, of seeking the Lord. You see, you, you have to use an habit to build an habit. But if you don't, amen, seek to build godly habits, amen. It's natural that destructive habits, amen, will become part and parcel of, you know, one's life. And we've seen destructive habit, habit take over community, take over, you know, cities, take over nations. Today they're taking over government. We break those holes in the name of Jesus. We raise a standard. When you want to destroy ungodly habits, you have to raise, amen, godly habits. Light overcome darkness. Ah, Father, we thank you this day. We turn on lights. 
We turn on your light over regions, over cities, over nations. In the name of Jesus, we turn on the light. We switch off the works of the enemy over the minds of people, over their thought. And this is the reason why we say the revelation of the mind of Christ today is the key to the deliverance of the nations. Church, it's time to preach this. Labo shanda rabdo boshi bayada. Handa rabda boshi handa rabdo. This is what it, what, what it means when we talk about the makings of spirit. Hallelujah. When we talk about the makings of spirit, the makings of spirit in the name of Jesus, the makings of spirit. Hallelujah. We make, hallelujah, new spirit by turning on, hallelujah, the right spirit. Godly spirit, righteous spirit, justice, equity, yes, fruits of the spirit. Oh, hallelujah. Friends, I am done this morning. We, we bless the Lord. Our God is risen with a shout. Oh, our God is risen with a shout. Father, we give you glory. We bless your name this morning for the victory that you have granted unto us. We enter into light we enter into light. We enter into light. This is life eternal that they may know you. The knowledge of Christ in us is illuminating and dissipating, removing every form of darkness. Father, we thank you. We are free this morning. We are free, liberated. Men have been awakened again to pray. Friends, Take your place again in the place of prayer. Don't let the enemy lie to you. God is calling you to the place of prayer. I will, hallelujah, Abacock says, I will, amen, relocate myself. I will take my stand upon the watch. I will stand at my watch. You've got a watch. You've got a place allocated for you, no matter how small. It could be just your little family maybe family of three that's your watch stand and pray it could be amen your community give given you a responsibility to pray over your community maybe a community of 10,000 people 50, 15,000 people whatever that community is take your stand before you do anything your position of strength and leadership is on the watch Maybe they've given you a responsibility to watch over a people as a shepherd. Don't let the ministry of pastoring dislodge you, remove you from the position of the king. When I was a pastor, one of the things the Lord taught me was the secret of prayer. You can't pastor people successfully if you are not a prayerful person. You're going to fail. You're going to fall. The needs of men will break you. The needs of the church will bury you. I've seen ministry destroy good people because they were not prayerful people. Did you hear what I've said? I have seen ministry destroy good people because they were not prayerful people. There will be all kinds of people sent to your house, sent to your church. You'll be saying, I'm trying to help them. Why are you, why are you trying to help them? They're helping you. <laughs> Come on. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. You're afraid of what is going on in your workplace. Stop praying. I will stand at my watch and station myself. When something is stationary, it's unmovable. And station myself on the rampart. is a place where you're able to see. You have a vantage view. You can't be in the midst of the mess and you're trying to help. They said, physician, heal thyself first. Oh, come on, friends. Father, we thank you. We honor you this day. Our voice is lifted. We will continue to seek your face. We will not faint. 
we will continue to seek your face we will not faint we will not be tired of praying we will not be tired of seeking your face you said you have not called us to seek your face in vain <clears throat> you will make mention of the Lord give yourself no rest and give him no rest who stand Bible talk about shepherd who watches their sheep by night Awaken our people, oh God. Awaken a third day church. A prophetic company. People, oh God, with the heart of a shepherd. You said in the last day, you will give your people, yes. Men who will feed them with knowledge and wisdom. Who will shepherd them with wisdom and knowledge. Not those who will take advantage and skin the, and skin the, the sheep. No. God, give us a heart for your people. <laughs> Peter, do you love me? Yes, you know I do. Feed my sheep. It takes, it takes a lot to feed the sheep of God. It's not just dishing them revelation. You have to be there for them in the spirit. You have to be praying. You have to prepare the food in the place of prayer. So that when you present the food to the table, they want to eat it. And they are eating it. You prepare your way in the place of prayer. Men always ought to pray and not to faint. It means, it means fainting is part of life. But when you keep praying, you will not faint. May the day not cramp on us as a thief in the night. May we not suffer cardiac arrest because we have not prayed. Father, we rise above the storm. We rise above the storm over our nation. We rise above the storm over our region. Wherever we represent, we rise above. We rise above the lies of the enemy. We rise above the agendas, yes, of, 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 of the systems of the day. We rise above the political uh, uh, lies of the enemy. We rise above, yes, the financial lies of the enemy. We rise above the needs and the lack. We rise above the wokeness of the day. We rise above the falsehood of the day. We rise above the perversion of the day. We rise above our houses built upon the mountains. We are the city set on the hill that cannot be hidden. We turn on the light. We turn on the light. In the name of Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Come on, friends. Let's give him glory this morning. We rise above. Victory is your portion. It is well with you. It is well with your household. It is well with your kids, with your children. It is well with their soul. You will not suffer loss. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will guide you. The Lord will lead you. He will send his angels to go ahead of you, to watch over you in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, give him glory. Thank you everyone for watching, for listening this morning, for being part of this time of prayer. If you have joined me to pray, well, thank you so very much. Uh, and I want to believe that God, amen, has done something tremendous in your life. I want to believe, amen, that the power of God, yes, is, is manifest upon your life today. Amen. Uh, if you are from this part of uh, the world in the Western Cape, please be safe. Amen. When you're driving or you are out because everywhere is flooded, it's raining again. The rain has begun again early hours. So we, we, we thank God for the rain. Amen. But we are asking for protection. Amen. And we ask him that the government will do all right, what they need to do in terms of protecting the people. All right. And if you can help somebody who is desperately in need, particularly with flooding, please do because I'm telling you, you, people do need amen help in times like this so uh get get to reach out to somebody all right and of course please continue to pray for me and if the lord amen will stay your heart and say be a blessing to this ministry because of course we depend on the good uh, a good will of people all right so please if god has touched your heart to be a blessing to our ministry financially i will really appreciate it all right i, I don't have the details on, on cure now but if you want to you can always reach me and say 
can I can I be a blessing to your to your work to your ministry? And of course, I'll be glad you know to share that with you. Let me see if I can pick this up. Yeah. All right, I've got this. Uh, so on the screen, you can see uh, my my you know my banking uh, uh, details. If you want to be a blessing, or if you want to reach us through PayPal, you can also do that. Okay, of course, you know this is not every time we do this, but by the leading of the Spirit, if you really want to be a blessing, if you love what we're doing, and you want to sow into it, you have the opportunity to do that. All right. So thank you, everyone. May the Lord continue to enrich you, and we want to thank. You know those who God have used consistently to lift up my hands, all right, in their seed, in their commitment to you know to providing and to because of course somebody will have to assist us to do what we are doing, all right. Uh, so thank you for for those you know wonderful uh, brothers and sisters. We really appreciate it. But if God is touching your heart to be a blessing, please go ahead and do that. I will really <clears throat> yes I appreciate it and the work it will make the work. God, it may continue to advance. But it's been a beautiful day spending this time with you in, in, in prayer. It's been a wonderful time. I've been awake since the early hours of the morning. Uh, I just give thanks to God for his grace and his goodness and his mercy. Please continue to pray for me. I need all your prayer. I need strength every day to be able to you know, do what you know we're doing, to keep to continue to uphold men and women across the globe, amen, in the place of prayer. And of course, you know, our ministry is it's, it's not just prayer, it is word and prayer. We will give ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. So, yes, we, we have learned to balance these two. We pray, amen, but we also, amen, uh, uh, you know, keep ourselves in line with God's heart, God's word, God's mind, amen. Yes. By the way, you need to go back to some of the teachings that we've done in the past just to refresh your, your refresh your mind, refresh yourself. Amen. I like to do that, you know. Sometimes just go back to some of these things just to you know remind yourself. It it, it helps. So thank you so very much, everyone. I'll see you again. Have yourself a lovely day, a fruitful day, and a blessed day. We'll see you. Amen. God bless you. Bye-bye.